Hello everyone and welcome to another Red Hat integration video. Today we will be covering how to secure your service registry using Red Hat Single Sign-On. So for this uh, exercise, I already have created a single sign-on install and I have deployed this registry realm. We will be using that to create some clients. The first one is the API. So we need to protect the API and we will be using OpenID Connect for that. Click on save and then we just check the access type. It's beer only. It's going to be using the uh, token from the UI. So we click on save. And now we create the uh, client for the UI. So it's called API Courier Registry. Again, OpenID Connect. And we are going to be using the uh, API Courier Registry URL for this. Click on save. And we just uh, check that it's using the public access type. Now that we have created our uh, clients, we need to create some roles. So let's add a new role called service registry admin will be the admin user. And we will create a second role called SR developer. That's going to be using the developer user. And finally, we have a read only uh, role that will only allow them to access the um, objects in, in there. So now we create our roles. We can then create a couple of users to try and, and check this. So we have already created one, but we will create a, a new one for admin. And we set the uh, credentials for this user to um, just uh, some, something simple like password uh, for uh, for every user. So we set the password and then we add the role of admin. Okay, let's create a new user now, the developer user. So there's the developer. And again, we set the same credentials, just something easy as password. And we set the password again. Then the role is going to be developer. And then finally, we just need our read-only user that um, will have the same credentials, um, something easy as password. And we set the password again. And the role, it's going to be read-only. Uh, the roles need to have these specific names because those are the ones that uh, the application needs validating when logging in. Okay, let's get back to OpenShift. And I have here an Abbey Curio deployment has already created. So let's update the environment variables on the deployment. So we click on environment and we have already created some by the operator. We will be adding the auth enable with true and uh, we will be adding the uh, key clock configuration. So for that, we will add the uh, Keyclock URL, and this is the public URL for our um, Red Hat Single Sign-On instance. And then we paste the uh, value of the uh, Single Sign-On uh, URL. And then we can add the information on the uh, Realm. So we will um, put the Keyclock key Realm, and it's going to be a registry. That's the name of our Realm. With that, we can uh, click on uh, Save. and then we can just uh, wait for the uh, redeployment of the uh, pod. You can check that uh, on the pod log. So you can see if it has already uh, restarted. It looks like everything's going on. So let's get back to topology and now click on open URL so we can get access to the uh, API Courier UI. The first thing you get now it's the login. So let's try it with admin and password. So let's log in. And now we can see that we can um, have this user uh, log in and we can upload artifacts as we are now part of the admin team. Let's try with another user. Let's go to the read only one and check the password. And let's log in again. And yeah, we are still as a user, but there is no way to upload new artifacts. And that's it. I hope you liked this video on how to secure your API Curio service registry with Red Hat integration and Red Hat single sign-on. See you next time.